Hi, I'm Kevin Crowley. I'm a senior at Marist College fashion design major. I'm graduating in 2015. So I was kind of all over, thinking about where I really wanted to go. Um, my cousin actually went to Marist. She graduated in 04. And I came up with her to visit. And I just remember being on campus. It's the story. It's being on campus. I wanted the design school. I wanted the fashion school. But I wanted a campus. But it's something about being on Marist campus that feels so big and so small at the same time. It's the probably one of the schools that's the perfect distance away from the city, that you can get to the city, but you're not in the city. So it has a really good balance of being in a metropolitan area, but also being on a campus. And also the fact that the design program was so small, something about, you know, FIT, I also applied to FIT and to Pratt, something about those design programs that were so big made me feel, you know, like, what if I get lost? What if I can't get the guidance that I need? I went to a very, not a very small public high school, but it was small enough that I could reach out to faculty and get feedback. And I think that Marist having such a small, small program really drew me in to think like I would get a lot of um, guidance and a lot of assistance and a lot of attention. I'm a freshman Florence experience where you are a freshman in college but you go abroad. Um, and you study, you can do a lot of core classes there um, which are interesting because you can take like your lit courses but they're Italian lit courses. Um, and I took some design classes, like some drawings and some sewing classes, um, which is interesting to get, you know, the way the Italians do the classes. It's all done in a metric system. So oh, wow. transferring back <laughs> was different. But the program was a full year. Uh, I came home for Christmas, but you didn't have to. You could actually stay the whole time um, and just stay like the whole like nine month period. But basically you are with a group of kids that are all your age and you're all doing the same thing. But it's a pretty big step. I mean, I was 18 years old out of the country for the first time and living by myself. We had an RA, but we were just me and my roommates in the room um, cooking for ourselves. There wasn't really a meal plan. So it was a pretty big um, step to make yourself grow and really make yourself grow up really fast, um, which I think is kind of a really big unifying theme in Marist. It really teaches you to grow up. And that was a good way to like jump right into it. To tell people that I went abroad my freshman year and how that kind of led me to do the menswear that I do now or how it, it lets me like think about culture and how I like to think about culture now, I think that resonates with people who do travel, especially in the fashion industry. A lot of people travel. And to hear that someone at 17, 18 was just kind of going for it, I think it's something that shows them that I had maturity from a young age and that I've kind of taken that experience and not just been using it as, oh, I went abroad then, but how going abroad has affected my life moving forward. Fashion is, can be very retail driven and very numbers driven. You can say, you know, last year's sales showed that this style sells incredibly, so let's design more of that style, but let's update it slightly. Or That's also a form of design. It's not just designing these crazy outlandish things. It's also smart decision making and working with a team. That's something that also opened my eyes. The faculty here is so tight and so small that almost every you know project I'm working on, if it's a scholarship or if it's an assignment for class, it almost feels more collaborative than competitive. And I don't think it's like that at other schools. I think I expected it to be competitive and I was surprised at how collaborative it was. My favorite class so far has been private label with <laughs> Professor Hartman. I hope she's watching this. <laughs> Just brownie points, but I loved that class. I think that was one of the classes that it was second semester of sophomore year, right before I did uh, abroad, Maris Manhattan. But I learned about working with exclu exclusively one person on a team and, you know, really working with a merchandising student. On a, and I was designed, she was merchandising, to get a line plan together. And we had to go visit the stores and we had to get the fabrics and we had to spec and source everything. And it was really almost a head to toe, kind of full circle, we did the whole thing kind of project. Um, and it made me feel like we were in like, we were like the, the, the presidents of it. You know, like it was our, it was our baby. It was our project. And it felt really good to start from nothing and end up with a huge project. The Marist Manhattan program is a semester abroad, um, but it takes place in Manhattan. You live on the Upper East Side and you take three online courses, three or less online courses that can help go towards finishing your degree. But you also do a minimum of a six credit internship. So you're, gonna, you're living in the city, commuting, doing your internship maybe three to five days a week, depending on what your 
what you've set up and you, you know, live in the city, make, again, make your own food and you're living on your own, but it gives you a good chance to see how people in the city do it. When they're living in the city, if they're commuting and what they're doing. I interned at Armani Exchange. I was there three, sometimes four or five days a week, depending on what we were doing. And being able to be so close to the city and being so available because I had no um, in-class classes, they were all online, I was able to really become a member of the team and work very closely with the team. And today, there's some of the closest contacts I have. What do you really want to do when you when you grow up? And if it's, you know, be a part of the fashion industry and be a strong contender for jobs and be someone who is well-rounded, then come to Marist because, you know, you have a full liberal arts education on top of the coursework that you're doing, on top of the internship experience that you're going to have, and on top of having a campus experience. You're going to have a lot of things to talk about when you get into the industry, and people like that. People like people who have a lot to say and a lot of different types of experience as opposed to just, you know, being in the city and just doing the design classes. You know, I've taken like literature classes that have to do with, you know, witchcraft in the 1700s. And for some reason that could translate into an inspiration that goes down the road or you know, some other like history classes could talk about certain ideas in history of fashion that help you relate concepts together. Um, and so I think that if you are the kind of person who wants to be a really, really strong contender and someone who knows a lot, you should come to Maris. There's so many opportunities to learn and to take from here. Go abroad. At some point, go abroad and take abroad seriously and take abroad for what it is. Learn as much as you can and grow as much as you can. Do what you say. If you say you're going to do something by a certain time for a teacher, do it by that time or earlier. Uh, the teachers and faculty and professionals like prompt, realistic outlooks and time management skills. Um, be better than you were the day before, I think is another good one. Think about how you want to improve upon yourself, upon getting into the industry, uh, how you want to be a better speaker, you want to be a better designer, a better merchandiser. Uh, another good one is to be nice to people. <laughs> it's really hard in the industry. There's a lot of people out in the world that are, even professionals or people from other school who aren't nice, and being nice will get you a long way. Um, just in, in, even if it's just not even inherent, if it's just the way you are, just to be a nice person, people in the industry will take notice of that and respect that and will be drawn to people who are nice. And I think is the last one is just to be as hardworking as you as you as you can. <laughs> just work as hard as humanly possible to get to your goal. Because um, if you keep sitting here and saying, if you compare yourself where you are now to where you want to be, you're never going to get there. Just get there. Just work as hard as you can to get there and keep that goal in your mind, and know that everything that you're doing is working hard gets you there.